What is going on guys? This is the second portion to this catfish limb line video that uh, you guys have watched I think about a week or so ago. Um, I'm just getting to do this intro now not realizing that I didn't do one back when we actually did this video for the second half of it. Um, but I'm just getting to it now. Um, so you guys are going to want to watch this video to see if we came and reached the goal of 100 pounds of catfish that I had said previously. Um, I will tell you it comes down to the wire for sure. Um, it was something about this post front coming through that kind of just shut these catfish down after the first couple of days that we did so well on. Um, other than that, I've been at my house um, with this coronavirus epidemic going around. I know you guys are tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of hearing about it, but it's something we have to deal with. Um, like I said, I've been home. I'm not getting out. I haven't gone fishing since then. I haven't basically done anything um, except work from home and then go to the office just when they need me and stuff like that. So I do recommend you guys also stay home. I know, I know, I know that everybody's saying, well, you can't stop me from doing this. You can't stop me from doing that. And I want to go fishing. I still see people going fishing and crabbing and all that good stuff. Great. It's a great time, but just not now. Um, not much leeway that I have. Um, I'm just a small time YouTuber, but I do please that you guys adhere to this um, warning and stay home as much as you can. Um, I know you guys have to support your families and all the other stuff, but if you do not have to get out, please do not get out. Um, this thing is going to take a turn for the worst if we don't adhere to the warnings that's going around. Um, so, with that being said, I'm going to stop rambling on, and I'm going to swipe to this video, and you guys can see just how much catfish we actually did catch. Stay tuned. Oh, shit. Pay attention to that line, bro. That yeah, pay attention to this one. That one's moving. They got a hook on that one. You going to be that when we get that? <laughs> I didn't even see that line. I seen that thing bob, so I was like, oh. Oh, the one of you was passing right by. I was like, hey. He just kicked up mud, that ain't a good sign. Look at him, boy. He's bobbing and weaving, coach. He's bobbing and weaving. That's a good one. That's a good one. Channel! No, that's not that's channel. That's a channel? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He just seemed really dark when he was flipping around. That that's line. a good one. Everything but a flipper. Nice, nice. Here, look. Nice little. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Nah, I ain't trying to get stuck today. I ain't trying to get stuck today. Shit, about okay. a two and a half pound shank. He bought by long. This dude had did a good, a good pull. I seen him. Dude, this one barely. I thought that was oh, going to yeah, be a small. Like, huh? He was just kind of, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. You know who got fight in him? Mudcats. Yeah, you're right. Whoa, coach. Whoa, coach. Whoa, coach. Get him in the boat, coach. Get him in the boat. I can't sit up. I can't. Let me see if I can flip him. Let me see if I can flip the channel. We're all about business. We ain't off got no time. Board. Off the backboard. Off the backboard, right? We is improvising today. Right. He's he's there. He's. I dog it. Give it a go around. Another good round. Oh, he going on this one, guaranteed. He going on this one. Filling up the channel chest. So I didn't think that there was a fish on the limb line we was about to pull up because it was not moving whatsoever. But we got a nice, oh, Lord have mercy. That's a blue, that's the first blue cat we caught. Boy, stop slapping him. About a, what say, about a five, six pound catfish? Somewhere around there. Nice, the first blue cat, nice blue cat. We're gonna put him in the, that's gonna go a long way towards the 100 pound goal, that's for sure. Look at him compared to the mother fish. Boy, take up the whole ice chest. That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe I didn't think that he was on a damn line. Hey, bamboos, are you? Ah, I'm about to have to turn this on for the whole time. I thought I seen it move a little bit. I thought I seen it move. Ah, that's a big spot! 
Cuidado. I felt how heavy it was. That's why I just wanted to sling him in the boat. Mind y'all business. <laughs> Blue. I don't know how. Get a little acrobatics. It just flew out that cove. Oh, that's a fish, fish. Alright, reverse, 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 lucky twas lucky that's another blue hey. i take the blues for my boy big rob look at you boy look at your boy your boy's touching fish nowadays <laughs> your boy getting his hands slimy i don't mind when the blues come in i don't mind getting the swamp blues all right back up got a bad feeling though Just give us one channel out of here. Like I did, two this morning. Be grateful. Oh, that's a nice channel, boy. A nice channel, boy. Oh, he's barely hooked, too. Look how big his mouth is. Hold on, before you drop him in the boat, just drop him in the chest, coach. What are your fingers? Hey y'all, boy, chest filling up, boy. Yeah. Tell you what. So, we leave him in here. But this, uh, this is a limb line. <laughs> it's convenient to get in. Yeah, it's very convenient. I'm bringing up. No mud cats. No mud cats. Channel ball, hey, that's what I like. Let me get you out of the tree a little bit. Yeah, Oh, Lord. Oh, I got that ice chest cold, cold this morning. Oh, it must be convenient to have a flipper. <laughs> Who would have known? Hey, when I poured that ice in the ice chest this morning, it was so dry from being in my freezer that it stuck to all the cats. It was peeling skin off. <laughs> Just peel it. <laughs> anyway, boss, a good start. No mud cats. It must be your boat that attracts mud cats. <laughs> Or is it straight down? I can't tell. Oh, it's moving. Oh, he's moving. Oh, it's a big catfish. Hang on. Oh, watch out. Bro. What you talking about? He almost came off. I was trying to get the net. I got time for the net. Get in the boat, boy. Look what happened to him. Oh, something got him. I need you. I don't know. The tubular cobbler. The chupa, that's a nice channel. Bro. Oh, I felt the weight on him. Dude said, that's a big one. Throw him in. Get in the chest, coach. Bro, uh, we ready to go. when I seen him start taking off like that, I was like, oh my the goodness. Watch your face, watch your face. Yeah, put bait back on it. Yeah, rebaited, huh? Yeah, oh yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> Is that the way he's blowing it? Nah, he's doing the macarena on that thing. <laughs> you put your left fin in, you put your left fin out. <laughs> and then you do the channel pokey and you turn yourself about. And that's what it's all about. Channel cat. <laughs> alright, alright, you boy. All that's right. a good one. Okay, okay. That's a good one. Okay. Oh, he's been on there for a minute. Look how much he tried to get off. Why the ice chest getting full? Ice chest getting full, but I don't know what we can do if we catch a big one. We gotta just put them on the on the floor. Yeah, I just wanna weld that whole thing shut. The white he's got a fish? 
That's a good one. Never produces. Never produces, produces. Every one more. I, I said that boy said, who never produces? Oh Lord, I almost morning. slipped. Oh, that one came off easy. Oh, he's stuck in the ice chest. Oh, dang. Well, as long as it's on top. We'll, we'll put a little, uh. Bro, like that's the second time. You know that whenever, I, the, that's the second time. The first one had a hole poked in the bottom. And all the juices went in there. Yeah, but the people were like, oh no, it's made for puncture resistant. Boo! Igloo, you lied! <laughs> Please, I need a channel, bro. Remember, this is a stupid shark. Come on, channel. Channel? Yeah, hey, he's dark. That's what we needed. That'd give me energy. That'll give me the energies. You got it. I know, you got it. There you go. How many we caught so far today? One, two, three, four, five. five it's not terrible, but but you know, I got more faith on that other end. I ain't gonna lie to you. No, I think we need to put more lines over there too. We need to put more lines. That is for show of it. Look at the energy that boy got. All right, it's just a channel cat. Don't you worry. I'm I'm gonna promise you that it's a channel cat. I can tell by the way his bobbing and weaving skills are. I told you. I can tell by the bobbing and weaving skills of a channel cat any day. Channel, channel, channel cat says bobbing and weave, bobbing and weave. Mudcat says no, 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 no. <laughs> he says no, no. <laughs> Why well, you love the same bait? But it's not, it's okay. Give it a, hey, give it a dip. You the same baby, give, give it a little dip. Hey, what is this? That's a deep dog. Oh. Just give it a little. That is shallow. Just give it a little. You know what I'm saying? There you go. <laughs> that log right next to it, too. Oh my. The next tree. That's a good one. Very, very nice. That's a good one. Well, kind of barely hooked too. Yeah, but ice chest is full, full. And that's straight catfish. There ain't much ice in there. Straight. Oh Lord. Boy, you made, you made a sudden movement. You put... What happened? I hear you, little frog. If I get hungry enough, you do the next one. Look at the next tree, bro. It shook the whole tree. Nah, I'm gonna knock on wood. I ain't got nothing here, but I've never caught a mud cow in this line. Saying, just saying. It's always been a channel. Still true, boss. Still true. The tree produces channels. Boy, the ice chest is full, boy. The ice chest is full. Not that, boy. It's your bull whipping him over there. That ice chest is full. I don't like when they start pulling all of a sudden like that. Channel? He hooked himself in the gill? Sure. It looked like he hooked himself in the gill. Yeah, he, he did. In the mouth. Huh? No, no it's in the gill. No, right. He passed by and got hooked. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> caught him. Caught him slipping. Hey. That's a good sign when it's not jerking all of a sudden. That's a good sign of a channel. Yep. What happened to him? Did he get ate by something? 
His side's bleeding. It's not coming down from his gill. We got punctured by something. We got punctured? How do you get punctured? you get punctured by? Oh man! That other one way over there. Behind that other big fallen tree. It has been good to us so far. Then the one next to it too. But I don't like the way it's pulling out like that either. All that high energy. Nice channel. Oh, that line is producing for sure. Dude, some lines always produce and some lines just it never is. produce. Got caught in the eyeball. None of them been hooked in the mouth so far. This ain't gonna be a mud cat. Guarantee it's not gonna be a mud cat. Guarantee it's not gonna be a mud cat. There's no reason for a mud cat to be this far out. I'll tell you. <laughs> well, well. That's some, that's a bit of an improvement, but still. All them lines and how many catfish? Four. Ooh. That's bad, that's the worst. We did better than, we did better our first day running them. We did better the first afternoon just baiting them and running them. Oh, Not even sitting. Way better. It's pitiful. I'm thinking of that What kind of fish is to be yet determined? Channel? Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's about time. Let me back up, watch your head. That's a good one too. Not doing much commentating right now, cause we, we're strictly just trying to run these lines. <laughs> Once you run them so long, it's just like, it ain't much to say besides it's a mud cat or it's a channel cat. Unless it's about a 20 pound catfish. Then there's some excitement brews. Let's go call out, let's go call out. All right guys, it is the last morning that we are running these limb lines, thank God, because I am tired of these limb lines and just tired, period. But I'm almost to the goal that I said of 100 pounds of catfish. We actually cleaned some catfish yesterday afternoon and had right at about 40 catfish. I'd say majority of them, you could say averaged out to be about two pounds, because we had some that was above, some that was below. But I'd say about two pounds, so like I said, do a little math, 40 times two, that's 80 pounds of catfish. Yesterday afternoon, we only caught six catfish. Those a little bit less than average of two a pound. So I'd say we need somewhere around 10 to 12 pounds this morning to uh, be able to pull off the 100 pounds of catfish. That my goal intended, but we are at the first line for the morning. So I'm gonna strap this to my chest and pray to God that there's no more cats on any of these lines. Oh. Uh... The line's about to get Oh, I want to say that. Did we get some running in? Yeah. God dog it. God dog it. Oh, it's a good one. That's what I'm talking about. Let me get you out of these trees. Put them back in the water, coach. Man, that's a sight for sore eyes. Oh, don't let them get out now. It's a precious gym. Well, I was like, man, this is a f Oh, excuse me. <laughs> This is a mud cat. And I was like, no, that ain't a dark cut. I don't know how to pick the piece it now. That's a little blue, huh? Yeah. A little blue cat, boy. Man, that's a sight for sore. Eyes. That's what I'm talking about. I only get dirty when we catch fish. <laughs> but that's okay. We catch a fish. Alright guys, it is a couple days after we got back from the whole trip 
didn't fell just just short of my goal we ended up somewhere around the 92 pound total fish mark you can hear my cat has also <laughs> decided that he is over being in this house as well um, but I'm coming to you from my house right now I am gonna stick to my house I am gonna take this uh, coronavirus thing pretty serious um, as I or do not want to spread anything towards my family um, so like I said I'm gonna be bringing you to my home um, unfortunately I don't know how long this is gonna last for but if it lasts for an extended period of time I will do videos uh, in and around my house that may have to do with hunting and fishing so you guys been look out for there or I might go live a couple times just to talk to you guys do question and answers maybe or something like that until this all blows over but uh hope you guys did enjoy this whole series and just know that if you need food and you really need to get out there there is plenty of food and wildlife out there that you can go catch or kill yourself so with that being said you guys make sure you come back for another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman